LED strip lights have opened up a whole new way of lighting your home, but they do require a bit of knowledge in order to put an order together, as they're not really plug and play products. There's nothing to worry about, however, because in this video, I'm gonna be showing you how to put together your order for your RGBW and RGBWW LED tape. Now this video has been designed to walk you through the process of buying your LED tape step by step. So by all means, feel free to put me on pause, add the component that you need to your basket and resume once you're ready to carry on. Now, with any tape installation, it makes sense to start at the tape itself. So step one is to measure the length of tape in meters that you need for your space and to keep a note of it as this will determine a really vital component later on in the process. What's also worth noting here is that we sell LED tape by the meter. So for example, if you need 3.3 meters, you would need to order four meters of tape. Step two is to connect your tape to your chosen controller. And this is done very easily through five core cable. Now you will get 10 centimeters of five core cable free with your tape anyway. And for most people, this is fine. But if you do need more than that, you will need to buy some additional core cable, which we can solder onto the end of your tape for a small additional fee. You'll just need to let us know in the text box when you place your order. Now, there's very little point in buying RGBW or RGBWW tape if you can't control the colors or the brightness, which is why you need a controller. And this is step three picking out a controller. Now, whilst we have a wide range of controllers and receivers to choose from, our best and most versatile is our EasyLight 5-in-1 Wi-Fi controller. It gives you the option of using it with a compatible remote control or directly from your smartphone, which also lets you use Alexa and Google Assistant. Your five core cable from the previous step inserts into the output end of the controller. The black core inserts into the V plus terminal, the red core into the R terminal, the green core into the G terminal, the blue core into the B terminal, and the white core into the CW terminal if you've got RGBW tape, or into the WW terminal if you've got RGBWW tape. Step four is picking out a power supply. And there are two things that are vitally important here, the voltage and the max capacity. The voltage is easy. If you're buying our Aeon LED strip lights, you'll want a power supply that is 24 volts. The max capacity is a little more complex, but we can still work this out using a really simple calculation. All we do is take the length of the tape in meters that we measured at the beginning of this video and multiply it by the wattage of the tape that you need. So let's see how this looks in an actual example. Let's say you need four meters of RGBW or RGBWW tape and the tape itself uses 19 watts per meter. You would multiply four meters by 19 watts, giving you a total of 76 watts. So for a setup like this, you would need a 24 volt power supply that has a max load of at least 76 watts. We'd recommend leaving a 10% leeway between the max load of the tape and the max capacity of the power supply. This is just to protect the longevity of both the tape and the power supply. Once you know what spec of power supply you need, you've got just one decision left. Plug in or hardwired. Plug-in is the easier option and involves using one of our AC-DC power adapters as they plug directly into your EasyLight 5-in-1 Wi-Fi controller and the other end plugs directly into any standard wall socket. And that's it. So let's quickly recap this setup where you've got a controller with a plug-in power supply. You'll need your RGBW or RGBWW tape, some five core cable. Don't forget, you'll get 10 centimeters as standard with your tape, an easy light five-in-one Wi-Fi controller, and an AC-DC power adapter. If you wanted to opt for a hard wired power supply, however, there are a couple of extra accessories that you'll need to purchase. The first is some two core cable. This is just like your five core cable but has two cores instead of five. You'll also need two of these Wago lever connectors and here is how it all fits together. Positive core of your two core cable, that's the plain white one, 
inserts into the V plus terminal of the input end of the controller, while the negative core, the one with the black band running down its side, inserts into the V minus terminal, and the ends of the core cable will insert into a Wago lever connector each. Then, the positive cable from your power supply connects to the positive core cable via the Wago lever connector, and the negative cable from the power supply connects to the negative core cable via the other Wago lever connector. And now the whole thing is ready to be connected to your mains power supply by a qualified electrician. And at this point, you're done. So to quickly recap this setup where you've got a controller with a hardwired power supply, you'll need your RGBW or RGBWW tape, some five core cable. Remember, you'll get 10 centimeters as standard with your tape, an easy light five in one Wi-Fi controller, some two core cable, two Wago lever connectors, and finally, your hardwired power supply. Now, if you're still having any trouble putting your basket together, or if you are looking for a setup involving multiple runs, or runs longer than 10 meters, you can speak to our team of experts, and they can provide a free, bespoke, no obligation quote for your installation. Just pick up the phone and give them a call on 0116 321 4120 or send them an email to sales at wled.co.uk. You can also hit us up on our Facebook and Instagram pages too. Just DM us the word tape and we can basically do all of the heavy lifting for you. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.